I'm sure we all have that one drone that we use for basically everything, from flying freestyle to racing outdoors, to maybe even some indoor fly-throughs or just fun. But not all of those scenarios have the same requirements when it comes to raids and throttle. And sure, you can go into Betaflight every time to change that, but it's not really convenient. So in today's video, I'll show you how to tie your raids, throttle curves and limits on a switch. Let's get started. Now this video assumes that you have a switch already tied to a channel, an aux channel on your radio. If that's not the case, then go to the link in the description to check out how to do that for your radio. But most models nowadays come with the switches mapped already to a channel on the controller, so you should be fine. Let's get started by connecting to Betaflight. Before we start messing with settings, it's really important to have a backup of your configuration. So let's do that real quick. Go to the presets tab and just click save backup. This will pop up a context dialog and just click save and you're good to go. Once you have saved a backup of our configuration, let's get started with the RAID profiles. You might have seen and wondered what is the RAID profiles in Betaflight. And let me explain real quick. RAID profiles are like pages of settings, mostly RAIDs, where you can save basically everything that you can see on this RAID profile page. Now there are four different RAID profiles you can switch between. And yeah, you can already start assigning different RAIDs and then change between them manually. So let's make a couple of RAID profiles and see how we can switch between them. By default, you'll be in RAID Profile 1, and this is where you probably already have your custom RAIDs if you have changed them, uh, like me right here. So I'll name it FS for Freestyle, and you'll see why the naming is a bit important later, but let's save this for now. By the way, if you don't know what RAIDs are, make sure to go into the description, just don't copy the values that I have. RAIDs are very personal, so you shouldn't just copy my values, instead test what is best for you, and then you'll come up with your own RAIDs. All right, let's go to the RAID Profile 2 and customize the next one. This will be uh, cinematic, so I'll call it Cine. And it's gonna be my regular cinematic rates for like Cinook. And as I'm gonna also be flying indoors, I'll put a throttle limit so you can see how that works. I'll set it to scale and maximum 70% of the throttle. And there's a limit and let's go to save. Okay, now we've done two different rate profiles, but I'll do another one because I'll put it on a three position switch. So you'll see how that works. This one I'll just call it fast and it's gonna be just insane rates. Yeah, these ones are just insanely fast rates. They're not really usable, but for demonstration, they'll do. All right, now you have three different rate profiles set up. To change them, you'll just have to do this, which is not really convenient. And if you have set up Betaflight in your remote controller, as I showed in the last video, you can even change it from here, but that's not really convenient. So let's set it up on a switch. And this is super simple. First of all, let's go into the receiver tab and let's flip the switch that I actually want to assign to the rates. For me, it's AUX3, but it's going to probably be different for you. Remember this value. Next, let's go into adjustments tab. In the adjustments tab, just find the first available slot, which is empty in this case. Well, it's the first one for me. Turn on the if enabled and on the when channel and via channel set to the one that your switch is tied to. In my case, it was AUX3 and set it to the one in your case whatever it is. And in the then apply, set it into rate profile selection and drag this slider all over the range. And let's click save. And it's this easy. Now back in the rate profile settings, if I flip the switch, it's gonna change the rate profile automatically. That's cool. Side note here, it is important to know that when this is configured, you can't just switch the rate profiles manually like this because it's tied to a switch. So you have to just manually flip the switch and then adjust the profile and save if you want to change it after setting this up. I mean, let's admit it. This is really cool. We know what's even cooler, knowing which rate profile is selected in your OSD. So let's do just that. Remember that I told you about naming them before? In my case, I named them Freestyle, Cine, and just Fast. All right, then let's set this up so you can see it in your goggles. And this is super simple. You go into the OSD tab, and here you search for Profile Rate Profile Name. Turn this on and place it wherever you want. Here in the preview, you'll just see Rate 1. That doesn't matter, it's gonna show you the real value in your actual goggles. So just click Save, don't forget that, and it's done. Let's check it out. Okay, so now you can see my OSD right here. So did you learn something new in this video? Then make sure to comment down below how you're gonna set this up, like it if you liked it, and also make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this coming soon. Thank you for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.